sand. Watching the wicked bury alive, but no one move ahead. So if I can not get in the self, just never known the man. You still don't understand? Well, in chaos, his people still have peace. He's our supplier through fire. We have surplus with the least. He destroyed our enemies before a sword can be reached. That's why you see us on one accord, yelling this in the streets. It go, I'm out of I'm out of
Slow. Shalom, shalom. tell you these people are something else all you got to do is repent all you got to do is repent serve God they don't want to repent They want to stay in their wickedness. So the judge coming. Judge Dredd coming. Anybody seen the movie Judge Dredd? Judge Dredd coming. <laughs> Judge Dredd is coming. He coming. He's going to 
clean up the house. <laughs> we gonna clean up the house. And if you put up too much of a fight, he gonna throw you off the 25 foot balcony. Judge Dredge cut it. No, not the one with Sylvester Stallone. The one before that. And if you put up too much of a fight, he gonna throw you off the 25th floor. in slow motion. The judge is cut. Put up a fight if you want to. Up a fight if you want to. The judge cut. Judge Dredd is cut. I would not recommend you put up a fight. <laughs> I would not recommend you put up a fight. The judge cut. He will throw you off the 25th floor in slow motion. So we got we got the United States, we got the UK, we got we got Russia all together in the Red Sea. Ain't nobody fighting each other yet. I think Satan playing chess. Playing chess, I say. Satan playing chess. He's in control of these armies. He's in control of these navies. Right now, he's in control. He's moving chess pieces. So, you know me, I don't pull no punches. So now let me talk about the black community. Let me talk about the black community. Let me talk to my people. Let me talk right now just for a second to my people. I want to say right now what's today? April the 1st. April the 1st, 2024. Put this out here on the ethernet today from One Nation, One Power. We do not respect any black man that has allowed himself to be a sex toy for the white man. We do not respect you and we will no longer look up to you. We don't want to hear your music. 
We don't want to see your face. We don't want to hear your voice no more. Because you ain't nothing but a sex toy for the white man. All of you. Damn shame. Damn shame. All of you ain't nothing but a bunch of black sex toys. And now it's coming out. And then you want respect from your own people. You ain't getting no damn respect from us. You lost your respect. The hell wrong with you. You lost your damn respect. All of you. Mama would throw you the hell out the house on your damn head. And daddy, he would disown you. You ain't no more part of the family. Put that in your crack pipe and smoke it. We disown all you bastards. We don't claim you no damn more. For some money. For some money, you a damn sex toy. And then you think somebody's supposed to look up to you and respect you. We don't respect you no more. You gave up your respect card. All on damn television. Damn sex toys. Calling they so hard. Don't go to prison. Don't none of them better not go to prison. Got your children following meat meal. Got your damn children following all these sex toy rappers. Watching these sex toy basketball players. All of them sex toys. Get down on their damn knees and opening their mouth wide. lost and turn the hell out all of them so you let me put this on the record here in one nation one power you got free agency you can do what you want to do but we don't respect you no more if your damn children got any of that damn music in your house you need to throw it the hell out get that satanic Get that satanic crap out your house. Tell your damn children they ain't listening to that crap no more. Running around here acting like they not spreading AIDS. Like AIDS ain't spreading. Somebody do it. Somebody do a test. I bet you they got AIDS. I bet you all of them got AIDS. I bet you they will show up hot on the radar if you do a test to see what kind of disease they got. They got syphilis. They got AIDS. They got all them diseases. And then these dumb women out here, you, you got you dumb as hell if you let a man that done been uh, working for the shit Packers Union his whole his whole life put that damn thing in you. Something wrong with you. You deserve to get sick too. Negroes all all of them got part of the same damn union. on television. Yeah, I'm gay. But why you didn't say that at first? How many women did you screw? Playing like you were straight. 
How many women did you screw? How many women did you screw after screwing the man? That's how diseases spread. They taught us that when the AIDS epidemic was spread. Didn't they teach us that? Didn't they tell the world? When the AIDS was out, AIDS, AIDS out now, AIDS done triquple. AIDS right now is worse than it was back in the days. AIDS is everywhere. Everybody walking around with AIDS. And passing it one to another. Passing AIDS out like it's cotton candy. Passing AIDS out like it's a mint after you have a dinner. That's what's going on. You don't do all that type of stuff and ain't no sickness involved. These people trying to glorify wickedness and at the same time, they pet, they spreading diseases. I'm gonna call the health department when I get off of this live. I'm calling the health department. All of them spreading diseases. You don't get to go out here and disobey what God said and you don't get no damn disease. Everybody running around thinking this cute. It ain't cute. Damn disrespectful bastards. If I was in prison with you, you you be gone, boy. Bring your bring your behind the gladiator school. Damn shame. Got all these children. What's going to happen to them? What they doing to the children? Minds. What they doing to the little boy minds? You better tell your little children that that ain't the way to go. But we following these nasty bastards. Now they got songs coming out. And people, just imagine how your child been listening to that music. And now, because the spell has been broken, you can hear what they saying on the record. And your child been listening to that bull crap. Ain't nobody mad. Ain't nobody upset. Everybody just walking around like, ain't nothing happened, huh? Man, man rapping on the record, telling another man to put his thing in it. And you guys think that's cute? Ain't nobody gonna say nothing, huh? Same dude, I'm going to be nice. I ain't being nice. The hell with that. Same damn niggas talking about you shouldn't be with a white woman or another woman of another race, but they but they, they locked up like two dogs with a man. You locked, it's okay to be with a man, huh? But don't be with another woman, huh? Don't be with a woman, huh? That's what you're really saying. Bunch of sick bastards. Better thank God he didn't make me president. You better thank God it wasn't my destiny to become a Vlad the black Vladimir Putin. You better thank God. 
all you guys be gone. Everybody talk about, yeah, I wish I was God. No, you don't. If I was God, all this be done. God got great patience for you. God love you. Let me tell you something. If I was God, all this be over. It be done. I would send down angels. I would tell you. April the 3rd, I will send down angels to exterminate all of mankind. Start all over again. Why do they want to kill us? The movie, the movie, the movie Prometheus. We got to go out there and see why do they want to kill us? Why do they want to exterminate all of us? Do you got to ask that question? Look how you living. Got the police, FBI, the FBI hands full. They can't keep up. People being kidnapped people being murdered. I mean, it's off the chain right now. People being killed every day. No, I'm not black. I'm brown. Do I look black? Don't disrespect us by calling us by color of a crayon. Yes, if you want to know if my nationality is an Israelite, yes, I am. That's our nationality. Copper color. So let's go into our word today. And I'm not going to be teaching no Jesus walked on water today. I'm teaching you today the sky is falling. The sky is falling. And you guys better get ready. Boy, I did not have, I did not know that Russia got a nuclear submarine with 16 nuclear missiles in it. And each missile got 10 nuclear warheads on one missile. I had no idea Satan gave them that type of technology. They got, a, they got a submarine out there that can go 400 and some feet deeper than the ordinary submarine. Got 16 nuclear missiles on it. And each nuclear missile got 10 nuclear warheads on it. Oh my God, you guys be in trouble. Do you know that one submarine can take out the United States of America. One submarine can take out the United States of America. Yes, we are all one. We've been baptized into one faith, one baptism, and one spirit. But you got to get out of your ignorance because I'm about to teach today. Somebody give me the brother of Jared in the book of Genesis. They got one submarine. Man, when I seen that, I just shook my head. One submarine go 400 and some feet deeper than the than the ordinary submarine. And 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 it's and it's so quiet that you can't even hear it. Now I know why America every day now They've been having the nuclear plane sniffers up in the air. Now I know what, what they're looking for. Give me the book of Genesis, the brother of Jerry. Welcome to a channel where you're going to learn something. Welcome to Gadai University. Get your pencil and get your paper, please. You're going to learn more in five minutes than you ever learned in the church for 30 years. Give me Genesis. Give me the brother of Jerry. And then we're going to go to the book of Moses, the pearl of great price. Get your pen and get your paper. Paper. I'm going in, baby. Put your seatbelt on. We're going for a ride.
Genesis 5 and 18, and Jared lived 160 and two years, and he begot Enoch. Who's Enoch daddy? Who Enoch daddy? Who Enoch daddy? Who the Bible say Enoch daddy is? If you disagree with that, then get ready. God going to kill you. Because you're too stupid. You don't know that if you if you if you say something opposite of what God said, then you challenging God. Are you smarter than God? You smarter than God. That's what's wrong with us Negroes in America. You've been dumbed down your whole life. You don't know nothing. You dumb as a sack of rocks. You went to school in America. They ain't taught you nothing. What you know? Everything you know, you got it off of Google. You went on Google to learn it. Everything you know, you learned it from the white man. And he deliberately lied to you, fed you trash. And it make me so mad that you Negroes quote the white man. When I say white man, I'm talking about the rich, those that had money to pay for the school, those that had money to pay for the books, those that had money to pay for the police, to make sure you go to school. I ain't talking about the ordinary white guy down there working at the concrete plant or the ordinary white guy that's just down the street. I'm talking about the rich, the ones that set up this system to make you ignorant, to dumb you down, to make you think you somebody you not. And until you wake up and realize that you don't know nothing, you ain't going to learn nothing because you think you know it all. Then you come on this channel where a black man going to speak out against wickedness because our mamas did. Our mamas and daddies didn't tolerate this crap. But today, you got people trying to defend. I don't know why people are mad at P. Diddy. You damn foe. He has systematically destroyed the black man. That's what he paid to do. That's what he getting paid to do. Turn out black men. Now, there ain't no children being born. You can't see the plan. They gave you Planned Parenthood first. Then you done wised up to that. Now they got black men don't even like black women. They don't like no women. Turning you out. And you don't even realize you're being turned out. Being turned out. Somebody got to stand for God. Somebody got to stand for righteousness. Somebody got to stand for equality. Somebody got to stand on the other side. Because it ain't no white and black thing. It's the children of God versus the children of the devil. Children of God come in all colors. Children of the devil come in all colors. Children of the light versus the children of darkness. And if the children of the light don't stand up and say something, that darkness shall cover the earth. At One Nation, One Power, we raise strong women. 
we raise strong men and make them apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, and evangelists to represent the creator of the universe. So what do we represent? Everything that's clean. If it's clean, it's okay. If it's dirty, go wash it. We love everybody, but right is right and wrong is still wrong. We ain't gonna let this society tell us wrong is right. I'm the most high servant. That's who I am. Sent by the most high God to speak the truth, whether you like it or not. And got angels backing me up. Damn shame. Grew up in jail and prison all my life. Grew up in gladiator school. Ain't afraid to get a tooth knocked the hell out while I'm knocking out three of yours. Ain't afraid to get two black guys while I fracture your neck. That's who I am. Gotta take some to give some. And until you can man up and take some, you ain't a man. Afraid to get hit. Oh, I'm afraid he's gonna give me a black guy. Give him two black guys. Oh, he tried to break my arm, break both of his arms. Men, not boys. So in the book of Genesis, how old was Jared when he had Enoch? How old was he? You guys, I'm back. I had to have my three seconds of temporary insanity. I'm back now. How, how old was he? How old was Enoch daddy? How old was he? 162 years. And he had who? eating up. All these years you've been in church, you ain't never knew da Enoch daddy name. Now you know Enoch daddy, and now you know how old Enoch daddy was before he had Enoch. You just learn more right now than you ever did in the Christian church. Now let's keep it moving. Go with me to the pearl of great price are the book of Moses, a ancient record. We're going to chapter six and verse 31. And when Enoch had heard these words, now go back, you hear that? Enoch heard some words. Enoch heard some words, now go. To verse 21. I use the Bible first, the first precept. Now we're going to the book of Moses, 6 and 21. I wanted to read that verse first because now you know Enoch heard some words. Verse 21. And Jared lived 162 years and begot Enoch. And Jerry lived after he begot Enoch 800 years and begot sons and daughters. And Jerry took Enoch in all the ways of God. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, 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 hey, baby, I'm on fire today. Hey, baby, I'm on fire today. What did Jerry teach Enoch? What did Jerry teach Enoch? 
Did he teach him how to sag his pants? Did he teach him how to smoke a blunt? Did he teach him to look at another man's rear end? Did he, did he teach him how to live a life of wickedness? Did he teach his son that it's okay to be a boy toy to another man? No, my friend. He taught his son how to be a man of God. taught his son how to serve God. Taught his son how to worship God. Taught his son how to pray. Taught his son how to fast. Taught his son Taught him righteousness, holiness to the most high God. This is how Enoch learned to walk with God. He had to have a daddy. He had to have a daddy. Sing it! He had to have a daddy that didn't walk out. He had to have a daddy that stood tall. He had to have a daddy that took care of him. He had to have a daddy that loved him. He had to have a daddy in his life. Hear me talking. Had to have a daddy. They said, I'm not leaving my wife. Hear me talking. Had a daddy that stood strong on God. Had a daddy that taught him how to get on his knees. Taught him how to pray. Taught him how to get a word from the Lord. If they knock me off the first Bruce channel, I'm going to go out and come back in. Had to have a daddy. Did you hear what I said? Enoch had a father in his life. Enoch had a man.
Enoch had a man in his life. This is how Enoch walked with God. Yeah, just like your mama. And Jerry lived 162 years and begot Enoch. And Jerry lived after he begot Enoch. Eight hundred years and begot sons and daughters and Jerry took Enoch in all the ways of God and this is the genealogy of the sons of Adam who was the son of God with whom God himself conversed. And they were preachers of the sons of Adam, who was the son of God, with whom God himself conversed. And they were preachers of righteousness. Preachers of what? Righteousness. Living right, teaching the children how to live right, how to walk right, how to talk right. And they were preachers of righteousness and spake and prophesied and called upon all men everywhere to repent. And faith was taught unto the children of men. And it came to pass that all the days of Jared were 962 years and he died. And Enoch lived 65 years and begot Methuselah. And it came to pass that Enoch journeyed in the land among the people. And as he journeyed, the Spirit of God descended out of heaven and abode upon him. And he heard a voice from heaven saying, Enoch, my son, prophesy unto this people and say unto them, Repent, for thus says the Lord, I am angry. You know, this is Christ. I am angry with this people. And my fierce anger is kindled against them. For their hearts have waxed hard, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes cannot see afar off. And for these many generations, that's what's going on today. That's why people can't see what's about to happen in America. They can't see afar off. All they can see is the marijuana joint. All they can see is the prostitute. All they can see is sin. And for these many generations, ever since the day that I created them, have they gone astray and have den denied me and have sought their own counsel in the dark and in their own abominations have they devised murder and have not kept the commandments which I gave unto their father, Adam. So, here we go. Now you know why God had to send the flood. Everybody living for their own self. Everybody Wicked as hell. They have denied me and have sought their own counsel in the dark. Here they go, following the devil. 
and in their own abominations have they devised murder and have not kept the commandments which I gave unto their father, Adam. Wherefore, they have forsworn themselves and by their oaths they have brought upon themselves death and by their oaths to Satan they have brought upon themselves death still happening today my 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 how things change but how they remain the same everybody that made an oath with Satan is dead or dying In their ignorance, they have brought upon themselves death. Why? The devil don't do nothing but come to steal, kill, and destroy. Christ said, I come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. But you rejected life and you chose death because Satan gave you a necklace. Satan gave you a house. Have you noticed all of these mansions that Satan gave these dudes? They lose them. Have you noticed every mansion that Satan has given to all of these sports players? They lose their mansion. <laughs> Satan take it back. <laughs> he give it to you for a season, and then you you lose it. Satan don't give you nothing. They have brought upon themselves death and a hell. I have prepared for them. If they repent not, they have made an oath to Satan and brought upon themselves death. And I got a hell prepared for them if they don't repent. And this is a decree which I have sent forth in the beginning of the world from my own mouth from the foundation thereof, and by the mouth of my servants, thy fathers, have I decreed it, even as it shall be sent forth in the world unto the ends thereof. What? Repentance. <coughs> and when Enoch had heard these words, he bowed himself to the earth before the Lord and spake, before the Lord saying, Why is it that I have found favor in thy sight? Am I but a lad? And all the people hate me, for I am slow of speech. Wherefore am I thy servant? And the Lord said unto Enoch, Go forth and do as I have commanded thee. And no man shall pierce thee. Open thy mouth, and it shall be filled. And I will give thee utterance, for all flesh is in my hands, and I will do as seemeth me good. Say unto this people, choose you this day to serve the Lord God who made you. Behold, my spirit is upon you. Wherefore, all thy words will I justify, and the mountains shall flee before you, and the rivers shall turn from their course, and thou shalt abide in me, and I in you. Therefore, walk with me. Therefore, walk with me. Preaching repentance and baptism this is how enoch walked with god and the lord spake unto enoch and said unto him anoint thy eyes with clay and wash them and thou shalt see and he did so and he beheld the spirits that god had created and he beheld also things which were not visible 
to the natural eye. And from thenceforth came the saying abroad in the land, a seer hath the Lord raised up unto his people. And it came to pass that Enoch went forth in the land among the people standing upon the hills and the high places and cried with a loud voice and what cried with a loud voice where is this recorded isaiah 58 and 1. here is enoch going on top of the mountains on top of the hills and crying with a loud voice testifying against their words and all men were offended because of him. And they came forth to, to hear him upon the high place, saying unto the tent keepers, tarry ye here and keep the tents while we go yonder to behold the seer. For he prophesied, and there is a strange thing in the land. For he prophesied, and there is a strange thing happening in the land. There is a man. There is a strange thing happening in the land. There is a man crying loud, Isaiah 58 and 1, and sparing not, standing on top of hills, standing on top of mountains. It's time, it's time. confess your sins today, you repent, and get back. It's time. A strange thing. Is taking place in the land. A man is crying loud and sparing not, lifting up his voice like a trumpet. Let's go and hear him.
He needs a wild man. And it came to pass when they heard him, no man laid hands on him for fear came on all of them that heard him for he walked with God for he walked with God not the devil this is Enoch God is the same yesterday today and forever and he changes not chosen by God daddy taught him everything he knew verse 40 and there came a man under him whose name was Mahijah, and said unto him, Tell us plainly who thou art, and from whence thou comest. And he said unto them, I came out from the land of Canaan, the land of my fathers, a land of righteousness unto this day and my father taught me in all the ways of God stop this ain't talking about what you call today Jerusalem because they were not living righteously in that land this is a land where everybody is serving God imagine that This is the land where the pillar of the city of Enoch is still standing. The Americas. And he said unto them, I came out from the land of Canaan, the land of my father. Oh, the land of Adam. Give me Psalm 8141. This Enoch. Then you go back to Jared. Then you get that much closer to Adam. Adam lived 900 and some years. Jared lived 800 and some years. Where is the land of Adam? Give me Psalm 8141. in the beginning it was not so and I have shown unto you that the record of my father the book of Mormon but in the beginning it was not so I have shown unto you that the record of my father shall come forth unto Joseph and he shall translate the part which is unsealed and publish it to the world so that all, so that all, so that all might know of the work of the Father, which was wrought upon the land of Eden, which is this promised land, which shall be called in the latter days the United States of America. This is the land that 
Enoch came out of. And he said unto them, I came out from the land of Canaan, the land of my fathers, a land of righteousness unto this day. And my father taught me in all the ways of God. And it came to pass as I journeyed from the land of Canaan by the sea coast. As I left the land of Canaan by the sea coast. East, I beheld the vision, and lo, the heavens I saw. And the Lord spake with me, and gave me commandment. Wherefore, for this cause, to keep the commandment, I speak forth these words. And Enoch continued his speech, saying, The Lord which spake with me, the same is the God of heaven, and he is my God, and your God, and you are my brethren, and why counsel you yourselves, and deny the God of heaven, the heavens he made, the earth is his footstool, and the foundation thereof is his, behold, he laid it, and host of men have he brought in upon the face thereof. And death hath come upon all our fathers. Nevertheless, we know them and cannot deny. And even the first of all we know, even Adam, Enoch was the seventh from Adam. Jude chapter 1 verse 14. Enoch was the seventh from Adam. What did he tell you? I knew Adam. And the Spirit of God 
came down upon Enoch. And then God began to talk to him. Tell him his mission. Enoch asked, why did you choose me? God didn't even give him an answer. Go down to the land of Canaan. And then pray repentance to the people. Why did I read that? Because I want us to understand. God still has some sold out righteous men on this earth. God still has some men that ain't going to let nobody fondle them. God still has some men that ain't going to let nobody play with them. God still have men on the earth that have integrity. God still have men on the earth that have dignity. God still have men on the earth that have not lost their morality. He still got righteous men on this earth today. And when you pull, that's all you got. Hear me teaching! And when you pull, baby, when you pull, when you ain't got the big house, when you ain't got the big car, when you ain't got all the money in the bank, there is something that you can have from God. And it is your integrity. It don't cost money, baby. You don't have to have money to have integrity. You don't have to have money to have Morality. It'd be like the the, the, the poor man, Lazarus, laying at the gate, begging for food. But he had his integrity. He had his morality. He had his word. I used to tell people, I don't have much, but this one thing I do have. I keep my word. My word is my bond. Revelation. Chapter 10. Might not have everything everybody is in the world, God. But this one thing I know I do, God. I got my integrity. I got my morality. And I won't give it up for nothing in the world. I'm going to take it to the grave with me. Integrity is those things that you do when nobody else is around, when nobody else is looking, when nobody else is paying attention. Can you live right then? Can you walk right then? That is when a man has integrity. He's the same man in front of all of his friends 
And when all of those friends leave, he's still the same man. That is his integrity. Can you maintain your integrity with nobody else around? See, that, that's where Satan moves in on brothers and sisters. When nobody else is looking, when nobody else is around, that's when Satan try to get you to walk out the grocery store with that bag of potatoes that they didn't scan. That's when Satan comes in to try your integrity. And then you get out there and you say, oh my God, they didn't, I didn't pay for these potatoes. And you turn around and you go back in there and you say, ma'am, I didn't pay for these potatoes. Can you scan this? Yeah, baby. Hey! Guard your integrity. Don't let Satan steal your integrity. Those things that you do in public when nobody else around. Those things you do when you home alone. Continue to be obedient to God and obedient to Christ. That's when Satan comes to try your integrity. Hold on to it. Revelations chapter 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven. with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head and his face was as it were the sun and his feet as pillars of fire and he had in his head a little book open and he set his right foot upon the same and his left foot upon the earth. And he set his left foot upon the earth. And his right foot upon the sea. Hold your place. Go with me to the book of Daniel. Chapter 12. Verse 4, but thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Verse 7, and I heard a man clothed in linen which was up on the waters of the river when he held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven and swear by him that liveth forever that it shall be for a time, times and a half. And when he shall have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people. All these things shall be finished. And I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed to the time of the end go back to Revelation 10 and verse 4 and when the seven thunders uttered their 
voices. I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying, Unto me, seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not, and write them not. And the angel which I saw standing upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him the living forever and ever who created heaven and the things that are therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer Daniel seal up the words until the time of the end many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall increase but I see the man an angel was standing and he told me because I understood not that it should be for a time, time and dividing of time. Then we get to Revelation. Chapter 10, verse 6. And I swear by him that liveth forever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are therein are, and the earth and the things that are therein are, and the sea and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he shall begin to sound the mystery of God should be finished as he hath declared to his servants the prophets So in the book of Daniel, God tells Daniel, it's going to be for a time, time, and the dividing of time, and then shall the end come in Daniel, in Revelation 12 and 10. He has a little book in his hand why is the book little because the angel is so big it's the same book that Daniel was told to seal up until the time of the end now we read Revelation 10 and 4 again and when the seven thunders had uttered their voices. I was about to write. And I heard a voice. From heaven saying unto me. Seal up. Those things. Which the seven thunders. Uttered. And write. Them. Not. So what God told John not to write when you look at verse 6 what John was about to write was the events that would take place just before the end of time. Verse 
verse 5 and 6 one more time. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to heaven and swear by him that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be time no longer but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he shall begin to sound the mystery of God should be finished The mystery of God should be finished. What did we just read that was hidden? And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound the mystery, of God should be finished as he had declared to his service the prophets. So what's in verse 4 is going to be finished. This is a mystery of God. A mystery. that there shall be time no longer. Read Isaiah 58 and 1 and you won't ask me that question no more. And when the seventh angel saw Verse 7 again. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished as he had declared to his servants, the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spake unto me again and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel which standeth upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book. And he said unto me, Take it and eat it up and it shall make thy belly bitter but it shall be in thy mouth sweet as honey and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey and as so as I had eaten it my belly was bitter and he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings. How 
is John going to prophesy again? As we teach and read the words of John from our mouths, John is prophesying again. As we read the words of John, John through our mouths is prophesying again. Time for me to cry loud because we are approaching the end of time where there shall be time no longer. Eternity is approaching. That's why you see two moons, two suns, the signs in the heavens. And your leaders are terrified. Your leaders are scared a four minute eclipse. Cell portion 70 and 27. Holy Spirit on you. And there is an exact timetable of the Father that must be followed according to the eternal laws of heaven. Stop. This why in Daniel 7 25. This why they change times and laws. And the timetable of any planet which is used for the purpose of the probationary state of the children of God is 7,000 years, not 10,000 years, not 20,000 years, not 1 million years, 7,000 years. And we are approaching the end of 7,000 years. When you read Seal Portion Chapter 70, it gives you the historical events that took place on earth leading up to the end of the 7,000 years. Seal Portion 70 is an accurate record of God's timetable on earth telling you what happened during the first thousand, telling you what happened during the second thousand, telling you what happened during the third thousand, telling you what happened during the fourth thousand, the fifth thousand, the sixth thousand leading up to the end of the 7,000. This is why I'm screaming. This is why I'm hollering. 
repentance because we are approaching the end of time according to God's calendar, not the Gregorian calendar, not the lunar calendar. Here is God's calendar. The calendar of the creator of the universe. Not the calendar of your slave masters. Not the calendar of those wicked Greeks and those wicked Romans who added 10 years to your calendar. And in this record, God told them 10 years was taken from God's calendar. So you call this today 2024. What year is this according to God? Subtract 10 years and you got the exact year that you living in today. Two thousand and fourteen is the end of time. And these are the things that John was forbidden to write, which were the trumpets that sounded long and loud, even all things that shall be accomplished by Christ until the end of the 7,000 years or the end of time. Everybody look at verse 80. Seal potion 70 and 80. This is the only record on planet Earth. The only record on planet earth that's going to reveal to you the mysteries of God. No other record on the planet will reveal to you the last events that are going to happen on this earth just before the second coming of Jesus Christ. The little book that John took out of the angel's hand. The last event the mysteries that everybody on TikTok, YouTube, searching for signs,
What did Jesus Christ tell you? He said a wicked and an adulterous generation seeketh for a sign. And that there shall be no sign given but the sign of Jonah the prophet. The eclipse is Jonah talking to Nineveh. Seven times they said it's going through Nineveh. And when the people were gathered thick together, he began to say, this is an evil generation. They seek a sign, and there shall be no sign given it but the sign of Jonas, the prophet. What sign is that? Repent! Of your wickedness. See, God Are be destroyed. All of Nineveh. The king ordered the whole country to repent. The king put everybody on a fast. He put the donkeys on a fast. He put the goats on a fast. He put the cows on a fast. Nothing in Nineveh ate or drank for three days. Nineveh received the sign of Jonah the prophet. And it was Jonah's job to scream repentance, whether he liked it or not. The Ninevites were a wicked people. And Jonah thought that God should just kill them. Wipe them off, God. And Jonah tried to run. And God swallowed up Jonah while he was on that boat trying to get away God sent a storm and at that time the people know that when a storm came on the ocean when you was on it that God was speaking they said who on this boat that done made God mad who on this boat that's rebelling against God. Who on this boat that's trying to get away from God? And Jonah came forth. And Jonah said, it's me. Throw me overboard. Throw me overboard. And the storm will cease. They picked up Jonah. Walked into the edge of the boat. Threw Jonah into the depths of the sea. Jonah thought he was going to die for sure. This is it. Then God sent the fish. Swallowed up Jonah. And in the belly of the fish, Jonah repented. 
I'm sorry. Forgive me. I'll go to Nineveh. I'll scream repentance like Enoch did from the top of the mountains. I'll go to Nineveh. I'll cry loud and spare not. And he got spit out of the fish onto the water, onto the shore. Hear me teaching! And Nineveh, burning in his bitterness, but had to be obedient to God. And just like a wild man, just like a wild man, he started screaming, repent, or perish. And the king of Nineveh got wind of it. There's a wild man walking around Nineveh, screaming, repent, king. Go and bring me that man. And Jonah was brought before the king of Nineveh. And he said, the Lord God of heaven sent me to you, king, to tell you to repent or perish. And the king, he knew that word was from God. He knew that it was time for his nation to change their direction. He knew it was time for their nation to get back right with God. He seen the degradation. He seen the immorality. And the king, he told the whole nation, nothing shall eat in this nation. The dogs won't eat. The camels won't eat. The cows won't eat. We will not eat. And there was a national repentance in Nineveh. The whole nation so this time the eclipse is going to hit Nineveh the first time and you won't repent and it will hit Nineveh a second time and you still won't repent it's going to hit Nineveh a third time and you still won't repent it will hit Nineveh a fourth time and you still won't repent it's going to hit Nineveh a fifth time and you still not going to repent. And then it's going to hit Nineveh a sixth time and you still not going to repent. And it's going to hit Nineveh the seventh and the final time and you still not going to repent. And then it will be time for the mysteries of God to be revealed. Then it will be time for revelation.
Revelations 10 and 4 to be revealed. Eclipse 
going through the city of Nineveh seven times. This is a wicked and an adulterous generation. Seven times. And they still will not repent. Verse 68. But the Lord shall not destroy the earth until the righteous have been given a chance to repent of their sins. Stop. This is the only thing that God is waiting for. Seven times the eclipse is going to say, repent, 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 repent. But the Lord shall not destroy the earth until the righteous have been given a chance to repent of their sins and turn their thoughts towards God. In other words, the Lord shall command that hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sailed the servants of God in their foreheads. And at this time, the fullness of the gospel shall once more be given to the world. Starting with the last of the prophets, of the holy prophets of the times. Starting with whom? Starting with whom? I'm part of this timeline. That's why I'm screaming. That's why I'm hollering. What I'm doing right here is part of this timeline. What is God telling you? He says, I'm going to send the last prophet to scream, to holler, repentance, and baptism. And he's going to bring you the fullness of the everlasting gospel. And at this time, this is the timeline, the fullness of the gospel shall once more be given to the world. Starting with the last of the holy prophets of the times and when and then the first Joseph Smith and the last of these two prophets who shall come forth in the latter days during the half of time as I have already explained it on the you. And there shall be many who shall receive the mark of the Father in their foreheads and begin to bring forth righteous works upon the earth. Stop. That's you. He said, when I send this prophet, the people are going to repent and they're going to begin to bring forth righteous works upon the earth. All of these books talk about me. I'm in every one of them. I'm your sign that this is over. So after the eclipse comes in and screams repentance seven times, God is 
raising up for people that will repent, that will go down to the waters of baptism, that will take up on them the name of Christ. Of all nationalities. Nevertheless, their numbers shall be filled in comparison with the rest of those who reside in the world. For at that time, the world shall be filled with many people, even above all the continents of the earth, shall there be many nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues, and there shall be many from among these nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues who shall wash themselves clean and who have forsaken the great beast which shall arise up among them and there shall be many at this time who shall wash themselves clean that's you And they shall be those who, although they are forced to receive the mark of the beast in their right hand, nevertheless, they are marked with the seal of God in their forehead. To God, the mark of the beast is your cash money. Because without it, you can't buy or sell. You waiting on the mark to come, but you already have received the mark. God didn't give money. Satan did. And everybody that don't have it cannot buy or sell. Try it. And watch, and watch, all of the righteous have been marked in the forehead. Then shall the time of the seventh cell come to pass. Then shall the time of the seventh cell come to pass. Then shall the time of the seventh cell come to pass. Go back. To Revelation chapter 10. Ain't nobody mad but the devil and his children. It's over for them. Revelation chapter 10. And when the seven thunders uttered, and when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write, and I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hands to heaven, and swore by hell that liveth forever and ever who created heaven and the things that therein are and the earth and the things that therein are and the sea and the things which are therein that there should be no time no longer but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel when he shall begin to sound the mysteries of God should be finished as he has declared to his servants, the prophets. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, go back to seal potion 70. Verse 74. And once all the righteous have been marked in the forehead. Remember, no trees are being burnt, yet 
No grass is being burnt yet. And once all the righteous have been marked in the forehead, then shall the time of the seventh cell come to pass. And after the seventh cell is open, yea, even at the beginning of the seven thousand years pertaining to the history of the children of God upon this earth, then, then there shall come upon the earth that which has never before been experienced by the children of men. Then the grass shall be burned. Then the trees shall be burned. Because what's coming upon the earth is that which has never before been experienced by the children of men. For Satan shall rise up with his minions and control the hearts of those who have received his mark in their right hand and in their forehead and with the power that Satan has given unto them by means of those miracles which he performed before them. Even the great scientific knowledge and technology as it shall be given in the latter days. He shall call forth his armies and his navies and all the means of force that he controlleth and shall make one last stand against all righteousness before the great and dreadful day of the Lord come. This is the mysteries of God recorded in Revelations 10 and 4 now being revealed. Yea, he shall come forth and begin to destroy all the inhabitants of the earth, even all those who do not have the mark of the Lamb written in their foreheads. And after the seventh cell is open, he shall wage war unlike any war that has ever been experienced among the children of men since the beginning. And for five months, he shall wage this battle and destroy much of the earth, even a third of all the earth, even a third of all the earth with the great power that he has given unto men. Stop, you live in the fourth part of the earth. You don't live in the third part of the earth. Babylon is going to be burned here real soon first. And when it falls, Satan is going to launch this war on a third of the earth. Once again, according to the Bible, you live on the fourth part of the earth. And then cometh the Lord in his glory and with him the angels of God and they shall destroy all those who destroy and kill the children of men by the power of Satan. Guns, tanks, helicopters, airplanes, nuclear bombs. Christ coming to kill all those that destroy the children of God with the miracles of Satan. And his power shall be the power of the Father, which shall be far greater than any power that has ever been given unto the children of men by Satan. And these are the things that John was forbidden to write, which were the trumpets that sounded long and loud, even all things that shall be accomplished, even all things, even all things, even all things that shall be accomplished by Christ until the end of the 7,000 years are the end of time. These 
these are the things that are going to burn the trees, that are going to burn up the grass. Go to Revelation. Chapter 8. Some of the other events that's going to take place why the armies of the earth, why Satan is destroying a third of the earth. Revelation 8. Let me prove it. Look at verse 9. How much of the earth is Satan going to destroy? A third of the earth. This is your great tribulation. This tribulation is for the wicked. It's not for the righteous. Revelation 8 and 9. Watch. And the third. What? And the third. What? And the third. What? Is it Satan going to destroy a third of the earth? Okay. Now we pick it up with the other events. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. Now the grass being burned. Now the trees being burned. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died. And the third part of the ships were destroyed. And the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lap and it fell upon a third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of waters and the name of the star is called wormwood and the third part of the waters became wormwood radiated radiation 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 and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter radiation from the nuclear missiles and the fourth angel sounded and a third part of the sun was smitten and a third part of the moon and a third part of the stars so as the third part of them was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld, and I heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven say with a loud voice, Whoa, 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 to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound there's more coming and the fifth angel sounded and a star fell and a star i saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth and to him was given the key to the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit and there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass or the earth neither any green thing neither any tree, but only those men who have not the seal of God in their foreheads. Now, these locusts are told, leave what grass is left. Leave what trees is left. Don't destroy them no more. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass that's left of the earth neither the green thing that's left of the earth, neither any tree that's left of the earth, but only those men 
which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh the man. And they tormented men how long? Five months. Go back to seal portion 70. Five months. How long did God give Satan to launch this war? Five months. Same five months. And after the seventh seal is open, he shall wage war unlike any war that had ever been experienced among the children of men since the beginning. And for five months, and for five months, he shall wage this battle. Revelation 9 and 5. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. At verse 75, seal pose of 70, 75. I'm going to start in the middle. He shall call forth his army and his navy and all the means of force that he controlled. He controlled all the armies and navies now and shall make one last stand against all righteousness but for the great and dreadful day of the Lord come. What's coming on earth? Something that has never come up on the earth before. Look at verse 74. And what? All of the righteous, all of those that have repented, been baptized, returned to God. And what? All of, all of the righteous have been marked in the forehead. Then shall the tide of the seventh seal come to pass. And after the seventh seal is open, yea, even at the beginning of the 7,000 years pertaining to the history of the children of God upon this earth. Then, then, there shall come upon the earth that which has never before been experienced by the children of men. What is that? Tribulation. Go to Daniel 12 and 1. Go to Daniel. 12 and 1. Close the door, Aaron. There ain't no coincidence that the Passover is on the 6th of April. There's no coincidence that the Passover, our Passover, that we keep is on the 6th of April. There is no coincidence. Daniel, 12 and 1. And at that time, what time? The time that Satan is released. The time when the seventh seal is open. What is Satan waiting on? 
He waiting on the seventh seal to be open. So right now, he's setting up his chess pieces. He's in control of the Chinese military. He's in control of the American military. He's in control of the Israeli military. He's in control of the Iranian military. He's in control of the Turkish military. He's in control of the UK military. He's in control of all of the militaries of the earth right now. Preparing for the final battle with Jesus Christ. Line it up the chess pieces. Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time, see that? God operates on time. He has a timetable. And at that time, talking about the seven seal, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one that shall be found written in the book, every one that got the mark of God in their forehead will be delivered. We got one of the greatest promises in your Bible from Christ himself. He said that except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You have been given one of the greatest promises in the history of the world. Give me seal potion 35 and 9. shall be a marvelous work right here take your precept is Isaiah 29 and 14 and this work shall be a marvelous work and a wonder and it shall mark the start of the gathering of the elect even that God might gather them unto himself that they may not be tormented and destroyed at the final coming of his son, even Jesus Christ. What did that say? Did that say at the final coming of his son, Jesus Christ? At the final coming. What is that talking about? The five-month war. At the mysteries of God. I'm going to read it again. That they might not be tormented. We read that in Revelation 8. The scorpions. Keep reading it. But we're talking about some more animals. Tormenting people. That they might not be tormented. According to Revelation 8. And destroyed. At the final coming. Christ ain't here yet. At the final coming of Jesus Christ. You're going to be saved. Out of this war. Let me read again. And this work shall be a marvelous work and a wonder. And it shall mark the start of the gathering of the elect. Even that God might gather them unto himself. That they may not be tormented. Like Revelation 8. And destroyed at the final coming of his son even Jesus Christ.
Go to the first vision, chapter 1, verse 35, and let me finish. And then shall the Father put forth his hand for the last time upon the earth and begin to gather the wheat from among the tares and cause the tares that they should be bundled together and the wheat shall be gathered into the barn where it shall be safe from the fire which shall soon come to destroy this world. Right now, the gathering of the elect is happening spiritually, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Once again, Jesus Christ said that except those days be shortened. What do we read in the seal portion? That the same promise that God gave to Enoch, that it would take them out of the midst of, the, of trouble, that he would cut his work short in righteousness. This is all connected to how you living right now. Except those days be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days, that five months, shall be shortened. The, you got the power to shorten the five months. And except those days should be shortened, there shall no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days, the five month walk, shall be shortened. What that mean? You're going to save lives. Much love. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Nineveh. The sign of Jonah. Seven times. God's going to scream, repent. 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 Repent, and you still not going to repent. And then the seventh seal will be opened. And everybody that don't have the mark of God in their forehead, they're about to be gone like good candy. your leaders of the world. They know this is the last chance to repent and return. Welcome. This is it. Showed you in the record. April 6th is the day of Passover according to God in these records. Where is that at? Seal portion what? Doctors and Covenants what? Doctors and Covenants 21?
Starting at verse 1. Behold, there shall be a record kept among you, and in it thou shalt be called a seer, a translator, a prophet, an apostle of Jesus Christ, an elder of the church through the will of God the Father and the grace of your Lord Jesus Christ, being inspired of the Holy Ghost to lay the foundation thereof and to build it up up to the most holy faith which church was organized and established in the year of your Lord, 1830 and 40, 40th month, and on the sixth day of the month, which is called April. Now I showed you guys in our other records. Where a lot of you guys stop listening to these other voices. Let me show you. Go to First Vision One. We got a pattern to follow. Verse 36. And when the work of the Father commences upon this earth, then shall the light of my gospel once again shine forth its light that those who shall see it might follow it unto the barn of the Lord where they shall be saved and there shall be one like unto you who shall be the last who shall be called forth to give unto the Gentiles the fullness of my gospel as I gave it unto the Jews, and he shall not be like unto Moses, but he shall be like unto me, having my countenance upon him for the sake of the work of the Father. And he shall do that which I have done, and preach against the religions of men and their doctrines, calling upon all men to repent and come unto me and be saved. And there shall be many that shall receive the words that he shall give unto them, which have been prepared to come forth in their fullness. And these words shall come forth from thy own works, which shall be given unto thee in my own time, as thou shalt be prepared. And his work shall testify of thy work and his work shall testify of thy work april 6 and his work shall testify of thy work april 6 and his work shall testify of thy work april 6 and his work shall testify of thy work and thy words shall testify of his words given unto the children of men the testimony of two that the fullness of my gospel might come forth to prepare the world for my coming. Stop. Go back to Doctrines and Covenants 21 and 3. Which church was organized and established in the year of your Lord 
1830 in the fourth month and on the sixth day of the month which is called April the work I'm doing is testifying of the work that Joseph Smith did he was a Hebrew Israelite you've been lied to my friend That's what these people are afraid of. April 6th was the day we came out of ancient Egypt. That's what they're afraid of. You was delivered. Aaron told Moses, close the door in and let the death angel pass. testifying of his word. Show me that to confirm to me to confirm to me we got the right day now you go out here and follow other people if you want do you miss Betty sends a spirit of confusion. Got you guys following damn Roman calendars. Got you following the Gregorian calendars. You don't even follow God's calendar. It's a damn shame. You can Google that. You can Google. What calendar did the Hebrew nation follow? It's going to tell you. Enough. You wasn't doing no damn mathematics. The hell wrong with you. All that's damn Gentile teaching. That's all Gentiles. Gregorian calendar and Lunar the calendar. Ain't them calendars ain't in your Bible. Then you guys getting all confused because you think I don't know what I'm talking about. The word the word moon didn't mean moon in the Hebrew days. If you go back to the book of Genesis, the word moon means month. They wasn't speaking English. They were speaking their language, Hebrew. And when you look at the word moon, it means month. M-O-N-T-H. It don't mean moon. But since they translated the Bible and they gave you the word moon, nobody looked at it in the Hebrew to see what it really meant. You just look at take it, oh, that means moon. No, it don't. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. The moon is female. The sun is male. Enoch told you that. Go read Enoch 1. 
That's why I don't come on this channel and think you're going to teach me a damn thing. I've been studying this truth for over 27 years. 27 years. What did they follow? Before they had a watch, what did they follow? Did they put a stick in the ground and, and draw a circle around it? Did your ancestors used to put a stick in the ground, draw a circle around it? And they looked at the shadow off of the stick on the ground to tell what time it was. In all of your movies, everybody that followed the moon, the Illuminati followed the moon. What they doing? They drinking blood, ain't they? They sacrificing. That's common sense. Anything Ish doing, you go the other way. Ish over there following the moon and you following Ish. Go get you a black suit and a black hat. Go on over there and sacrifice the red heifer. Anything they are doing, you do the opposite. We got a set day. We got the records. We got all the records. It's in this book. Don't come on this damn channel. Let's, if you ain't watched all my lessons, don't come on here with no ignorance and no stupidity. Because you unlearned. I can't stand ignorance no more. Go with me. The sealed book. Chapter 12. You got people out here following these Gentiles. They think the Sabbath day is a Monday. They think the Sabbath day is a Wednesday. Because they done lost their rabbit mind. Instead of humbling yourself and learning something from somebody that God sent, you think you know it. So go ahead. Celebrate the Sabbath on Monday. Celebrate it on Wednesday. You that dumb. The seal book, chapter 12 and verse 1. Page 169. Don't question my authority. In here praying every damn day seeking God and you out there playing basketball and out there having a good time and you're going to try to tell me that what, what, what God said. Been locked up in this house all week. That's why my hair look like it is today. Looking like a damn wild man. About to go crazy. All for you guys. Chapter 12, verse 1. In concluding these few words that summarize the statue of the Church of Christ in regard to the administration of the law of consecration among its members, I wish to relate a few words by Jesus Christ when he commanded them to be written, to be revealed as new scriptures according to the time and will of God to the Gentiles in the last days. And it was on this occasion that my father, Nephi, brought to him all the records of our people. Stop. Brought what? All of the records of our people. 
brought what? All of the records of our people. Stop. Do you have all the records of your people? And I'm going to ask you if you don't, why not? If you do not have all of the records of your people, why don't you? We have all of the records of our people, the Hebrew nation, given back to us by our God. Verse 2, then it came to pass that Jesus went on to explain all the words that are written in these records to his disciples in particular and commanded my father Nephi to take note of his words to summarize in one single record all things <laughs> and to summarize doctrines and covenants into one record pearl of great price into one record stick of joseph into one record give me doctrines and covenants 27 and 5 into one record take all of the records of the hebrews and that book that was in god's hands in revelation 5 1 and put it in the one book behold this is the wisdom in me wherefore marvel not for the hour coming that i will drink of the fruit of the vine with you on the earth and with moroni whom i have sent unto you to reveal the book of Mormon containing the fullness of the everlasting gospel to whom I have committed the keys of the record of Ephraim, the record of the 10 tribes of the house of Israel. In the one book, no man in heaven or on earth was found worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof. But we found one, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Come on. The Doctrines and Covenants, 8 and 11. Doctrines and Covenants, 8 and 11. Ask that you may know the mysteries of God. Hold on, we're going to wait for him. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open the book and to read, neither to look thereon. This is the book. We have it. All of the prophets that God ever called is in one book. All of the book of Revelations is explained in this book. Ask, come on. Ask that you may know the mysteries of God. Ask that you might know the mysteries of God. And that you may translate and receive knowledge. And that you may translate and receive knowledge. From all those ancient records. From all those what? Ancient records. From all those what? Ancient records. From all those what? ancient records come on which have been hit up which have been hit up that are sacred and according to your faith shall it be done unto you stop 
We're going to put that up again because nobody don't believe me that we sought God for this record. We sought God for this information. We didn't go to Google. We didn't go to YouTube. We didn't go over there to the Vatican and beg them to open up the gates so we can go down there in the basement. We ain't writing no letter to the Pope. We went to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Why is that hard? You read your Bible, he talked to Enoch. He talked to Moses. He's no respecter of persons. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he changed not. All I did was got on my knees, fasted, prayed, days, weeks, months, years, seeking God, asking God in faith, where are our records? These Gentiles have hid our records. And then God said, they're right in front of your face. I said, what? He said, they're right in front of your face. When he gave me doctrines and covenants, and he said, read. And I started reading. And then there's a Gentile name in there. And then the Holy Spirit said, stop. And I said, why is this Gentile name in there? He said, that's an injection. Keep reading. Eat the meat. Throw away the bones. So I started reading doctrines and covenants. And every time you see a Gentile name in there, Holy Spirit said, ignore that name and keep reading. Then the Holy Spirit said, go to the introduction into the Book of Mormon. And then when I read the introduction, it says that this book is similar to the Bible because it was written by the ancient Hebrew prophets of the Americas. Soon as it said that, that was it. <laughs> so Christ telling his prophet to take all of the records and put it into one book. Verse 2. For behold, there he goes interpretations as regard these records prefigure the covenant people in the last days. So, he told him to take all these records and bring them into one. And it's prefigures what God going to do with his people in the last days. So, your records being over there in the east, in the west, in the north, and the south, your records were scattered just like you. And Christ just said that these records, are, they prefigure. They prefigure the children of Israel. And I'm going to bring them all into one. This was a type of us getting all our records back in the sealed portion. It represents you. It represents Hebrews 8, 8 to 13. Ephraim shall not vex Judah. And Judah shall not vex Ephraim. For behold, their reduced interpretation as regard, regards these records prefigure the covenant people in the last days. When these, when then these prophetic expressions of Jesus are to be revealed to the ranks of faithful men and women who are to compass the united order to affect the redemption of Zion. Stop. Faithful men and faithful women. Pat yourself on the back.
these records in Isaiah 29, 10 to 14 came to faithful men and faithful women. To reestablish the church of Christ. In the last days. Verse 3, they will then be eager for the knowledge of these ancient records. They will then be eager for the knowledge of these ancient records. Hallelujah! Ancient records. Hallelujah. 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 Don't mess with us. Huh? Everything we do it was already written. That should make your head hurt. That should make your head hurt. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm a wind up robot. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I feel like I'm a wind up robot because I don't know how the hell I did it. I don't know how I did it. I ain't taking credit for it either. I'm dumb as a sack of rocks. I want to learn more. Come on. The words of Moroni, verse 42. The words of Moroni, verse 42. Being that among these few things, being that among these few things, that will be drawn from the first seal set, that will be drawn from the first seal set, before being, before being every book put together. Before being every book put together. Stop. See, everything we doing is written. Ooh. I know of. Uh, we have words of Moroni. One and forty-two. Go ahead. Before being every book put together. Before being every book put together. In a later period. In a later period. Of time. Of time. Will be sufficient. Will be sufficient. To awake the faith. To awaken the faith. In the followers of Christ. And the followers of Christ. Who will proceed from this great and marvelous work. Who will proceed from this what? Great and marvelous work. This great and marvelous work that will take place. That will take place when these things begin. When these things begin to take place to, among the covenant people. Among the covenant people. In the fullness of time. In the what time? In the fullness of time. In the what time? In the fullness of time. In the what time? In the fullness of time. Now give me doctors and covenant 45 and 28. Let's see. When the fullness of time is. When did that happen? Forty-five twenty-eight. Go down to like about 30, 31. Come on. And when the time of the Gentiles. And when the time of the Gentiles. Is come in. Is come in. A light shall break forth among them. A light shall break forth among them. That sit in darkness. That sit in darkness. And it shall be. And it shall be. The fullness of my gospel. The what? The fullness of my gospel. The fullness of my gospel. But they received it not. But they received it not. For they perceived not the light. For they perceived not the light. And they turned their hearts. And they turned their hearts. From me. From me. Because of the precepts of 
hearts of men. Because of the uneducated among us. And in that generation. And in that generation. Shall the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Shall the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And, Keep reading. And there shall be men standing in that generation. And there shall be men standing in that generation. That shall not pass until. That shall not die until. They shall see an overflowing scourge. They shall see an overflowing scourge. For a desolating sickness. For a desolating sickness. Shall cover the land. Shall cover the land. Stop. COVID-19. COVID-19 was the sign that God gave to the Hebrew nation that the time of the Gentiles was over. And that marked the time that we started getting back all of our records. That's right. Thank you, Yaquan. Chapter 12, seal book, page 169. Then they will be then eager for the knowledge of these ancient records written by the prophets of God in the past and preserved for a wise purpose in the future. And that, united in one, they will give the elect people in the fullness of time a clear understanding of the way in which we, the Nephites, instituted among our people the order of Enoch in the days when they lived in peace and harmony among the brethren. Look down there, there's a book down there, 500 Nations. Right down there is white. You should see it. It's all thick white books. It's not down there. 500 nations. Put in there. 500 nations. Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Who was that?
any questions. We prove everything on this channel. Why? God showed us. We don't take no credit for nothing. If it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be where we at right now. This channel right here, man, we over 10 million views, man. Millions of people are coming to Christ because of this channel. Because God is using this channel to bring his children back home to him. Without any bias, without any racism, hatred. We doing the work of God because we ain't going to hell. I got to be a damn fool to be taking that Bible and, and, and doing Jeremiah 48 and 10 and then go to hell. I ain't going to hell. <laughs> I'm going to follow God's word as it is written. And I don't care who like it and who don't like it. If you don't like it, that's your problem. Let me hear. 
Pick up the sword, pick up the shield, put on your plate. Yeah, every battle will get the light, put on your shield. Fire in the bill. says get ready. Anytime you see your government getting ready, you better get ready. Why? They are the wicked. You see the wicked building underground bunkers? That's your sign. They taking out bridges. That's the infrastructure. Grocery stuff. Give me that box over here. Let me show you, Zay. Yeah, I could. We got our own lambs. We got lambs. Yeah, it's happening right in front of your face. They're not paying the military men right now either. Everybody that's in the military ain't getting paid. 
you guys, what do you think been going on over there in the Ukraine? Satan is in charge of this earth. That's why they're telling you, get ready, because you're going to see demon faces. They're already here. They've been here. Now, in order for you to get free, what got to happen? In order for the Hebrews and the Gentiles that have been grafted in, in order for you to get free, what got to happen? Give me Genesis 15 and 13. Give me Genesis 15 and 13. Give me Genesis 15 and 13. If you feel it, sorry. If in your heart you feel it, sorry for what's going on in America right now, You in a dangerous place. Genesis 15, 13. And he said unto Abram, Know of a certainty that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not there. Because he took it from us and gave it to the Gentiles. And shall serve them, and they shall afflict them 400 years. Next verse. And also that nation. And also that nation. Whom they shall serve. Who they shall serve. Will I judge. Will I what? Judge. Will I what? Judge. America is under judgment. And afterwards. And afterwards. Shall they come out with great substance. So they're going to come out after America is what? Judged. What's God's judgment for Babylon? In one hour. In one hour. Shall her plagues come. Death. Mourning. And famine. And she shall be utterly burned. That's God's judgment. Upon that nation. That held us captive. And they know it already. Why you think they're telling you to get ready? We don't have to get ready. We already ready because we got the prophecy. I'm not saying this. God said it. These are prophecies. And none of his prophecies shall fail. Numbers 23:19. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Have not the Lord said it? Shall he not make it good? We've been waiting since 2019. In those days shall the elect and the holy race descend from the upper heavens and their seed shall then be with the sons of men Enoch received books of the indignation and wrath and books of hurry and agitation. Put that back up again, Guy Choir. Pay attention, people. All these are precepts. In those days shall the elect and the holy race descend from the upper heavens and their seed shall then be with the sons of men. Enoch receives books of indignation and wrath and books of hurry and agitation. Books of hurry. Hurry up. But you wait, no. The water is about to be made bitter and people are going to drink the water and die.
once again. Seven times. God going to say repent. You ain't going to repent. Repent. You ain't going to repent. Seven times. And that seventh seal gonna be open. And all hell gonna break loose. Internet going down. Cell phones going down. Worldwide. Give me some, give me Enoch 104 and, and 10. Give me Enoch 104 and 10, 11, and thank 12. Enoch 104 and 10. Yeah, Mr. Turner, I taught all that four years ago. Four years ago. You guys, you guys got to go look at some of our older lessons. And now, I know this mystery that many sinners were altered and distort the words of truth and speak evil words and lie and concoct great fabrications and write books in their own words. Enoch 103 and 10. There you go. Another mystery. Also I point out to the righteous and to the wise that shall be given books with an S on the end of joy, of integrity, and of great wisdom. To them shall books, S on the end, be given in which they shall believe. That's prophecy. I promise you guys in 2019 that we will be the most educated, wise, Hebrews on planet earth and we are because we accepted the other books and when they listen to the revelation received by the messenger thou will see their eyes overflowing with tears for they recognize the truth they pray our Lord we believe write us down among the witnesses what that say Put that back up again. Their spirit gonna cry out, Abba, Father. This is the truth. Holy Spirit gonna hit you. I told you. You got to have the Holy Spirit to understand the Quran. Repentance is in the Quran. Christ is in the Quran. <laughs> and when they listen to the revelation received by the messenger, thou wilt see the eyes overflowing with tears. For they recognize the truth, and they will say, this is the truth. Because the spirit is bearing witness with your spirit that this is the truth. And the spirit is also bearing witness with other people on here that you are a child of the devil. So the Holy Spirit is separating God's children from the devil's children. 
at the same time. Some of you guys being grabbed by the Holy Spirit, bearing witness, and some of you guys mad as hell, throwing up, neck pop, crick in your neck, crick in your back, because you're a child of the devil. Holy Spirit, going out there right now, gathering God's elect from the four corners of the earth. And if you come on this channel and you just mad as hell, yeah, 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 you the devil, child. And you are Hosea 4 and 6. You hate knowledge. All I do is read the Bible. Stop lying. You don't even read the damn Bible. All I do is read the Bible. I stick with the Bible. What color is Jesus? He white. You don't read the damn Bible. Go sit your butt down somewhere. Bible told you he's black. Oh, that's all I do is read the Bible. What first? Ephesians 2 8. I'm saved by grace, not by works, lest any man should boast. What else you know? John 3 16. For God sent this son into the world. Come on. These people make me laugh. Dumb as a sack of rocks. All I do is read the Bible. Okay, give me something out of the Bible. Well, my pastor said, all we do is read the New Testament. We're not in the Old Testament. We just read the New Testament. Do you read the New Testament? Yeah, I read the New Testament. What did Jesus tell Satan? Jesus told Satan that man should not live by every man should not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the living God. Say that one more time for me. Uh, Jesus told the devil that man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded forth out of the mouth of the living God. What do you read? I only read the New Testament. Pastor said, Pastor said we only read the New Testament. So you more powerful than Jesus? What you mean? Jesus had to use the whole Bible to whoop it, put hands on the devil. And you gonna what? What you gonna use? I'm just gonna use three verses. That's why you in sin. Come on, what you got? Doctrines and Covenants 8 and 1. Doctrines and Covenants chapter 8. And verse 1. Skip the name. Hold on, hold on. Let, hold on, let me read this. Quran 345. The angel said, Mary, God gives you news of a word from heaven whose name will be the Messiah. Stop. We're going to put that back up. We're going to put that back up, Daphne. I told you guys we are educated. Just because my Muslim brothers don't follow the Quran don't mean the Quran is not right. Just like the Christians. The Christians say they believe in the Bible, but they don't follow the Bible because they don't read the Bible. All of my Muslim brothers are the same way. Watch Jesus Christ in the Quran. How are you going to deny Christ when he in the Quran? The angel said, Mary, God gives you news of a word from heaven whose name will be the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, who will be held in honor in this world and in the next. Ho will be one of those brought near to God. Stop. Where he at? Sitting on the right hand of God. That's what that's saying. So how are you not going to accept him as the son of God? There it go right there. Don't nobody, you got to have the Holy Spirit to interpret these records, even the Quran. If you didn't repent, get baptized, receive the Spirit of God, you don't know the Quran. You're doing the same thing my brothers on the street corner doing. You're teaching hate. 
Jesus didn't teach hate. The disciples didn't teach hate. Why are you teaching hate? Let me tell you why. You have not been converted. You still a carnal man. Come on. All right, here we go again. What we got? Seal portion 66. Seal portion 66. And 79. And like it was with the message of Moses among the Jews. And like it was with the message of Moses among the Jews. And the message of Jesus among the Christians. And the message of Jesus among the Christians. Even the message of all the holy prophets of God. Even the message of all the holy prophets of God. Yea, in the days following the death of Muhammad. And listen, in the days following, let's wait, let's wait a minute. We're going to wait because I want you guys to see this. What's that? Surah, as Zabra 81 say, if Allah most gracious had a son, I would be the first to worship. Come on. Seal poses 66 and 79. And like it was with the message of Moses. And like it was with the message of Moses. Among the Jews. Among the Jews. And the message of Jesus among the Christians. And the message of Jesus among the Christians. Even the message of all the holy prophets of God. Even the message of all the holy prophets of God. Yea, in the days following the death of Muhammad. In the days following the death of Muhammad. The people shall also corrupt his message. The people shall also corrupt his message. And do the, those things which are most abominable in the sight of God. And do those things which are most abominable in the sight of God. And change the meaning of the Holy Quran. And what? And change the meaning of the Holy Quran. And change the meaning of the Holy Quran. Which shall be given unto the people. Which shall be given unto the people. Who would become known of themselves as Muslims. Who would become known because they were no Muslims back then. Who would become known as Muslims. Being called this because of their beliefs in the religion of Islam. Which shall be that which is like unto the religion of the Jews and the religion of the Christians, and the religion that came to be because of the followers of the prophets of God, who have been called to teach the gospel of the Father unto the people of their own cultures. Thank you. The Quran... The prophet Mo now you just had a, 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 a big time imam just came out and told you all of the prophets were black. The truth coming out. What this is this is Zura Zubra 63. When Jesus came with clear signs, he said. Now I have come to you with wisdom in order, in order to make clear to you some of the points on which you dispute. Therefore, fear God, Allah, and obey me. Fear God, Allah, and obey me. Fear God, Allah, and obey me. The prophet Muhammad was a black man. Same gospel. Watch this. Give me, give me where Christ said that he was going to open his mouth in parables and other things that were hidden from the foundation of the world. Watch. You think the gospel is new. I'm going to show you it ain't new. 
is older than the Torah. Christ told you. He said he will open his mouth in parables and open open his mouth and speak things. It's the same one. Watch. Christ don't change. Matthew 13, 35. That it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things which have been kept secret from the foundation of the world. What did he utter? Matthew, what did he utter? Mark, what did he utter? Luke, what did he utter? John, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, is from three people looking at the same teaching from their own mind. So they're all one. And then you got the book of John that was kept secret from the foundations of the world. The male chisel that priesthood. Come out here. Everything he uttered. I don't rock with dates. Watch this. In the seal portion, it told us that when we received it in 2019, that it's, we received this book 2,000 years before the birth of Christ. Now go back from 2019, 2,000 years, and you'll get the birth of Christ. See, we don't need Google. We got the book. The book said, when you receive this record, count backwards 2,000 years. Come on. This is a silver portion, A. 68 and 57. Sil potion. 68 and 57. Listen. Behold. Behold. I have already given unto you. I have already given unto you. The exact date. The exact date. That this sealed portion. That this sealed portion. Of this record. Of this record. Shall be published to the world. Shall be published to the world. Yea, exactly 2,000 years. Exactly 2,000 years. From the birth of Christ. From the birth of Christ. And this time is within the 10 years that you have not reckoned by the mistakes that were made in the days of old. Shall these things come forth unto you by the second of the two prophets of the latter days? By the second of the two prophets of the latter days. God even telling you who's going to give you the book. How are you not going to believe the book? God just told you who going to give you the book. All right. I got to get out of here. Much love. Now, all of you guys know that's been around a while. A lot of Muslim scholars up to 10 people for the baptism. When you cut them, a lot of scholars are not telling the people and shame on them. It's prophesied that somebody going to blow up the cop. I want you guys to hear me. Now, that might happen during this five-month war. But it's prophesied. And all of the Muslim scholars know it.
You're going to be here Friday. All right. Saturday morning. Between 9 and 10, I'm going to do the baptisms. I'm going to be out the hotel by 11. Yes, in the Apocrypha, it tells you that the blood is going to be to the camel's hooves. Holiday Inn. Son of Zion, get ready. Put some food up. Put some water. They know it. I used to be a Muslim. They know it. They just not telling the people. A lot of them over there know it. Iran is going to come out like a wild bull. They're going to light that place up. Babylon is about to be lit up too. So all I'm going to say, stay under the blood of Christ. Confess your sins every day. Do not go to bed in sin. Don't go to bed in sin. Coming down at her, at her coming. All oh, praises. All oh, praises. Looking forward to seeing you, Neftali. Yeah, because God is freeing you. God is freeing you. You being free. Give me Joel chapter 3. Give me Joel chapter 3. Joel chapter 3. For behold, verse 1. In those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. It's judgment time. Time to repent. Get baptized. Keep the commandments. Better learn to keep them commandments. Somebody do that for me right now. Let's let's bless somebody. Give me give me the book of Galatians where the gospel was preached to Abraham. I want you guys share this share this on TikTok. Take, take two precepts. Take Genesis 14, 18, and 19. And take the book of Galatians, where Abraham, where the gospel was preached to Abraham. <laughs> and watch and see what they do. <laughs> Y'all 
Abraham didn't say, the laws of God are done away with. <laughs> How was Abraham righteous? And the scripture for saying that God would justify the heathen through faith, preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, in thee shall all nations be blessed. Why are they going to be blessed? Because Abraham preaching the gospel. What is the blessing? Repentance and baptism and receiving the Holy Spirit. That's how all nations are going to be blessed in Abraham. Not just because Abraham was Abraham. God don't have no respecter of persons. Come out here. So here you have the gospel preached to Abraham. And then in Genesis 14, 18, Melchizedek is breaking bread and wine with Abraham. Way before Torah. And thus did we show Abraham the kingdom of the heavens and the earth that he might be rightly guided and that he might be of those who have certainty of faith. There you go right there. Take Quran El Anam 676. It go with Genesis 1418 and the book of Galatians. All three go together. So if he made Abraham an imam to the nations, then Abraham was teaching the gospel. You guys, I got to get out of here. This wisdom is too high for a fool. I feel like I want to go hang out with the fellas. If they can't understand it, Brother Brighton, then they, it's, a, it's not for them. You know, it's like going to college and you got basic math and you sitting in a class with trigonometry. <laughs> I dropped out of school in the ninth grade. I ain't going to try to sit in no class they teaching trigonometry. And all I had was basic math. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. 12 plus 36 is what? I don't know. Let me write it down. But how am I going to sit in the class with trigonometry? This trigonometry, baby. This trigonometry. <laughs> this trigonometry over here. Come on out here. People come out here with basic math. His name is, boy. His name is. His name is. What, what, what are you talking about? Get out of my class. Somebody throw out that uneducated dwarf. Come out here. People come out here and they don't realize you guys, you guys been in college since 2019. Can't nobody come on here with their buffoonery, their coonery, and their misinterpretation of scriptures. You guys be eating them alive. I be seeing you. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? You're in the third grade. This college class. Go back to the third grade. Get out of here. You hear me, y'all yield the flag. They be coming on here fresh out of the third grade coming into college class, talking about trying to tell us something. Get out of here. Go back to the third grade. Go back over there to the third grade and get your, what's that little drink? They like to the drink with a little, little straw in it. No, what's that other one? A little juice. They'll take, go back to the third grade with your little juicy juice. We 
We ain't got time for that. We over here eating steak. We over here eating ribeye. They over there with their little juicy juice. Coming over here with the juicy juice. Talking about elder, I got to tell you something. You ain't going to tell me nothing. Sit down while I go get your milk bottle. Is that milk warm up yet? <laughs> go get your milk bottle. <laughs> yeah, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. They own milk. They love that milk. Catch them in their car with the that's why their windows are all tinted. They're in there with a milk bottle. All these creatures running around here with milk bottles. Yeah, Capri Suns. Get out of here. We ain't on milk. We on meat. Strong meat belongs to them that are discerned. Strong meat. Come on out of here. Juicy juice. Baby's trying to tell us something. Get out of here, babies. Go stay in the baby channel. Go to the Goo Goo Gaga channel. Come out of here. You're welcome, uh, Janet. You learned something since you came over here? Come on out of here. Thank you. Hebrews 5.14 from the tribe of Ephraim. You're welcome. We're not done yet. We're going to eat until we're going to eat. We're going to eat. Every time I come on here, I'm taking you guys and we eating filet mignon. I promise you, we're going to eat filet mignon until we can't eat no more, until the computer go down. This ain't, Mc, this ain't McDonald's. This ain't Burger King. This ain't all you can eat. We serve prime rib here. We, we, we serve prime rib with baked potato, chai, sour cream. You can have your choice of corn, peas, carrots, or all of them the same. But you're going to eat here. You want loaded potato? We're going to get you loaded potato. I love you guys. Yep, 300,000 calories. You, you can go back to not eating much. You can go back to eating lettuce and tomato the next day. But that every day I come on here, 230,000 calories. All of you fat. How many of you guys fat with this word? Come on out here. How many of you guys full of the word? Put a number eight in here if you full of the word. Put a number eight in here if you got binders. There's precepts all over the house. There's, there's stuff all over the place. Tell if you look like that. Just, just, just pray. Look at that. Just one week. One week. <laughs> <laughs> Precepts everywhere, just, just, just falling all out of the sky. Scripts, scripts everywhere, just scripts, just laying all over the house, just everywhere. Come out here, all under my feet, all in my, all just laying everywhere. Nothing but scriptures. Just everywhere. <laughs> Surrounded by God's books. Books everywhere. Negro used to wouldn't want to read a book. Negro would rather shoot dice in front of the library than read a book. But now, surrounded by books. Books everywhere. 
Hello. <laughs> Sitting down in the middle of the books, just books everywhere. <laughs> you got 16 notebooks. Listen at John. He said, we got 16 notebooks, 300 pages full of lessons. Sixteen notebooks. Don't mess with us. <laughs> I'm on my third seal portion. Thanks to my sister. She's seen how beat up this is. She sent me a new one. Got me a new one. Thank you. I'm waiting till I wear this one completely out. Then I'm going to hit that one. Look, all our books. Used. Four to six. Four inch binders. Completely full. where you gonna learn something where we make apostles prophets pastors teachers and evangelists I think Sarge is a little how old is Sarge he's two years old we gonna say goodbye good job honoring the most high let that little Gentile brother know I'm keeping him in prayer. I'm keeping them in prayer. They on my prayer list. Man. That's right. I got what I got. I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. This is the month of war for the for the children of the dark side. This is the month of war. Yes, yeah, safe travels to Arizona. May the Lord be with you. Keep you, watch over you, protect you. All right. We love you guys. Stay out of trouble. Love you too, Zaza. Zaza. Love you too, Renana. Tyree. It's almost over, baby. Almost over. Come on, Christ. Come on. Come on, Christ. Come on. Come on, Christ. Come on. Come on. We ready. We ready for the city of Enoch. To come on down. We ready. We ready for Christ. We ready for Enoch. Come on. Can you say that to this? Come on. Come on. I'm ready to sit down. At the marriage supper of the Lamb. Feel it too. Fresh anointing. A fresh anointing being poured out on us right now. Thank you, Father. Come on. We make it our garments white. Come on. Come on. We want you. 
be ready to sit down at the marriage supper of the Lamb. We making our garments white. Come on, Christ. Come on, Lord. Come on, we ready. Enjoy the rest of this day. Shalom.